your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. All through the week, every other day has had a very different feel than the day before, and that won't be changing tomorrow as the weather once again flips back to warmer, more humid weather, even during the course of the night. After cool conditions this morning, it'll be more humid and much warmer tonight into tomorrow morning, and overall a much warmer day. Could see a few scattered thunderstorms late in the day, mainly over the we'll call it eastern or even southeastern half of the area late tomorrow into tomorrow evening, and then a weekend storm chance. Now this could come in. Maybe a couple different rounds of showers and storms. We'll have to keep an eye on that for your Saturday plans and then warmer after it Sunday on into Monday. We're back into that warm pattern once again. Had some sunshine for a good portion of the day and even in the southern counties, Emporia mostly sunny, but then that cloud cover really rapidly moving in during the course of the late afternoon. And that's where we find ourselves now. Cloudy at Junction City and it's clouded up in Topeka as well. Mostly cloudy skies through tonight. 77 degrees. The dew point though is still low. It is comfortable out there feeling. It's not as pretty as far as losing the sunshine, but it is very nice out there. Southerly winds at 10 miles per hour. 52 this morning, 78 for the high. That's one of the coolest readings we've had so far this season across most of the area. So nice cool start to the day with breezes at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Those winds will actually increase to 10 to 20 during the night, but the direction becomes really key because there's a lot of humidity south of us. Temperatures right now into the 70s area wide, 77 at Holton in Manhattan, 75 at Riley. Here comes that higher humidity. Dew points are back into the lower to mid 60s south. So the dry air to the north quickly gets replaced as that humidity starts to climb northward during the evening, during the night. And by tomorrow, we're back into humid air across the entire region. That higher humidity really setting up for Friday, especially over the southeastern half of the area. Here comes this cold front in from the northwest, pushes in, and that'll help to trigger some of those storms. Now, how much of the humidity gets shoved out on Saturday is going to be critical to what kind of storms we see on Saturday because the southern half of the area tries to get a little bit more humid by the late part of the day. Right now, it's just cloud cover building in. No precipitation, just a lot of widespread clouds spreading off to the east and to the northeast. It's been cloudy across the south central part of the state for a while. We have this disturbance out over Arizona. There's been numerous showers out over the deserts. Well, that's for us Saturday's rain chance. It starts to lift toward us, and as it approaches, out ahead of it, we see the front slide in tomorrow. Clouds around tonight, sunshine and heating up tomorrow. But here comes this cold front. Cold front comes in and scattered thunderstorms start to develop along the front. That'll push on to the south and east. After triggering a few storms during the evening, we dry out again. Then Saturday, late in the day, here comes that system from out west. Showers and storms rapidly develop. More widespread thunderstorms expected on Saturday as that finally pushes away to the east and then we start to dry out onto Sunday. But the severe weather risk right now looks to be on Friday when the front comes in for the eastern counties. That's where the kind of everything will still come together. The front will be too quick on a speed through the western counties to give a severe weather chance for the west. Southeast breeze is 10 to 20 tonight. 87, sunny, hot, humid tomorrow, and then thunderstorms start to develop late in the day for some. We are looking at a scattering of thunderstorms again over the weekend as well. 60% chance on Saturday, high temperatures into the mid-70s, and then any showers on Sunday would be early in the day. After that, we'll heat back up into the middle 80s, warm, humid air for Sunday and Monday, and then a scattering of storms Tuesday into Wednesday as our next push of cooler air comes in, and that one should be a little bit cooler with temperatures into the upper 60s on Wednesday. Beautiful sunrise from Darlene Bogren at Scranton, and a nice close-up shot there of a bee on a marigold in Baileyville from Penny Hazenkamp. And we got Lola in the studio today. She, she's not looking at the, the uh, camera for some reason. She's just... Uh, well, I mean, you know, Lola, what is it? <laughs> she's got something on her mind, and she just won't tell us, but... I only I had Chipotle for lunch, Lola. I don't know if you're smelling that, <laughs> <It's like> but <laughs> jealous that she didn't get some, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs>